Hey guys, it's me Rebecca here today and if you can tell by the title below, today is going to be a what is on my iPhone XS Max. So yeah, I'm going to be showing you guys a what's on my iPhone X and uh, yeah, if you are new to the channel, I had, I don't know I'm talking like this, but if you're new to the channel, I had a video like this, but it was a what's on my iPhone 6. So I finally upgraded and got myself a new phone. Well, not myself, but my dad, my parents, bought it for me. Couldn't know I needed an upgrade. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the apps I have. And yeah, I guess that's it. And I guess how I organize my phone. So let's get into the video. So this is what my phone looks like. I have a pop socket that's not in the center and it's kind of bugging me. I have a clear case, I guess. And this NYU sticker from when I went to go visit the university. And hold on, we're not getting in there yet. This is what my wallpaper looks like. And see how <laughs> one o'clock. So yeah, and to turn on the phone, all you really have to do is just tap the screen or just turn on the side button since there's no home button anymore. And since it's facial ID, I'm gonna put my face in there and then it unlocks like that. And you just get in so this is my home screen I guess you could say and this is the first page if you want to call it that so I'm just gonna go through the basics got me a messages calendar photos I have a lot of photos I have 2628 and 565 videos um, I have camera I have maps clock Weather, stocks, wallet, notes, reminders. I use this app a lot since I don't have an agenda book or a planner, so I use reminder a lot. And then news, iTunes store, and all the basics. Um, I have an extra folder with these apps and then extras again. Sorry, someone sent me a text message with these. And since I'm in journalism now, in that class, I have to use this a lot, so that's handy. And I have the Bitmoji app and XVPN, which really doesn't work for me, so I really don't know why I still have this app. Um, I have the phone app, mail, uh, yeah, I have a lot of things. Most of them are from, like, YouTube. Like, is this normal? Like, do you see all this YouTube stuff? And there's more. Okay, well, yeah, most of my mail comes from YouTube. I don't know how to disable that, because it's just comments. But yeah, then I have Safari and then iTunes. This is iTunes, right? iTunes Radio. Oh, Apple Music. Never mind. Then I have YouTube app. And if you guys are not already subscribed, subscribe to my channel, please. Be greatly appreciated. Thanks. Anyways, I have social media. I have Instagram. But you guys should go follow me on too at Saint. Bex, that would focus. St. Bex, you guys should follow me. Like my pictures. Just posted one actually, so you guys should go like that. Then I have Snapchat, which is neon.nerd. Then I have Twitter, which I got locked out of because apparently I was in 13 and when I made my Twitter account and they still haven't given me back my account yet, so yeah, I'm a little I'm a little sad about that, but whatever. Then I have Messenger, Group Me, Bands in Town for concert tickets, Facebook, you know, just connect with family. I don't really be using it that much. And WhatsApp. Then I have school, which is whatever stuff. Uh, this shows my grades. This is Google Classroom, Kahoot, Photo Math. This is a lifesaver for math. You just take a picture of the math problem and then it just guides you on like how to do it. As you can see, I've already used it and it just helps. And I have Khan Academy, I barely use that. Then games, I have uh, seven games total. I think I have more, but they're just not in here specifically. But I have Helix Jump, Hair, Tokoboka Hair Salon 2, Tumporon, Tumporon 2, Balls, Rolling Sky, and Catch Balls. That's how you call it. And I have Spotify. I just made a new playlist as well that I'm bopping to. And I guess if you guys want to follow it, I don't know how. Oh yeah, I do have a follower. I have, which, which is my friend. But you guys should go follow me if you guys want to listen 
to the music that I listen to. I have like 200 songs in this playlist, so you guys should go uh, follow me on there. Where I get most of my YouTube music from. Then I have files, reposts for Instagram, for my spam account, reports plus. This just shows you all the like followers you've gained and lost. And I've been having this after like four years, so um, these are the amount of followers I last over the course. I lost over the course of like four years or something. I don't even freaking know, but this app helps because when someone unfollows me, I'll be able to know who unfollowed me. Then I have Shazam, which is handy because I always be hearing music and I want to know what it is. So I just, you know, when the song is playing, I just tap on it and then it tells me what the song is, which is very handy. I have this editing app called 1997. They do not want to stop texting. Okay. Yes, I have this app called 1967 then i have wattpad i barely use it i have forever 21 urban outfitters add sense my mcps this shows my grades rabbit square weddy airtime google translate from when i took spanish but i don't take spanish anymore so it's just kind of there then i have more games i have knife hit balls race and then i use these i downloaded these when i was um practicing for my learner's permit but yeah they're just texting a lot now it's crazy anyways yes apps for learner's permits pass the test just if you're wondering then i have a calculator oh okay what the heck this is actually sick then i have papa john's app subway surfer is my bank things i know how much money i have in my account i am currently broke right now then i have peak i think this is like this brain exercise thing to be honest I have Days, which is like a countdown app, the followers app again, because this one, something was going on with it, but now I fixed it, so this is just kind of there now. Then I have Google Docs, just so if I want to like type a paper and I'm not near a computer, then I can just type it on my phone or start off the paper on my phone. I have Fonto, which is this really cool editing app. I have Musi, and pretty much, I don't use it anymore because it kind of like broke down on me, but when I didn't have Spotify Premium, I wanted to have enough money for Spotify Premium. I pretty much use this and it just gets music from like YouTube. And yeah, but the bad thing is when you do not have Wi-Fi, it's not gonna work. Like at all. Like if it's like 4G or something, it's not gonna work. I have the Kim Kardashian app, don't judge. Another repost app. I have Cooking Mama, Quizlet, Sprinkle of Jesus. Another repost app. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah, like three total. Then I have 3D Rain, which I needed for AP Psych, Netflix, and the MD Dollary because we just had the Mega Millions a couple weeks ago, maybe like two weeks ago or something, and I wanted to see if I was winning. Okay. And then I think I keep opening this. I really don't know why. Then I have Tide. Uh, my friend downloaded this. I really don't know what it's for, so it's just kind of there. Then I have the Apple Store, Clips, and Measure. I don't know whenever this will come in handy, but maybe it will. So that is everything that is on my iPhone XX Max. Okay, cool, right? Cool. Oh yeah, okay, bye. Thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed um, seeing what's on my iPhone and stuff and whatnot. Um, what else? Oh yeah, we hit 26K, so that's awesome. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe for great videos, not average videos. And see you next Thursday. Bye. Young Jewel. Yeah. Bitch, I'm from the north, but my bitch is from the south. And we need somewhere to meet, so I take the red line down to gallery.